town roaring along Jefferson Avenue. It's going to look quite a bit different this time around when Indy cars hit the streets downtown again. This is really going to be yep. cool today. Organizers, even the drivers came together to give us a little sneak peek at what it's going to do to take to turn the streets that we commute on into a racetrack. Jamie Edmonds live downtown tonight to take us through it all. Hey, Jamie. Ooh, what a great sunset behind you, too. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? I planned that for you, Karen, Devin. This is Atwater Street between the Detroit River and the Renaissance Center. Now, this will be a portion of the new downtown track for the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. It'll be about two miles, 10 turns. It just got real. The Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix will be racing through downtown Detroit starting in 2023. As the renderings show, the track includes Jefferson Avenue, but does not go north of it, meaning downtown will remain open during the race, a big selling point to Detroit City Council. I think it was something brilliant for them to come up and to have the streets that will still be open for the traffic to still flow. I think it's awesome. Tuesday, plans were unveiled of how it will all work and how it will work out for local business as well as race fans. To think that we could have half of our circuit be open to the public for free is also unprecedented. Nowhere else does that happen, but it's going to happen here in Detroit. I got a sneak peek of the 1.7 mile track with IndyCar driver Joseph Newgarden. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think the track coming back downtown makes a lot of sense. As much as I've loved Belle Isle, uh, I'm really excited to bring it back to the city. We weave through traffic, but when it's race day, it will be a different story. My favorite part is Jefferson Street. Honestly, it's a, it's a 0.7 mile run that we'll have on that straightaway, and it leads into a very wide hairpin corner. Um, and a hairpin is obviously a 180, so you're going to be coming you know, 185 miles per hour into pretty much a dead stop. And it's five, six lanes wide, so it's going to provide a really good opportunity, I think, for passing. Okay, so today we were going maybe 40 miles per hour because there were traffic lights and there was traffic. Now, a big selling point for city officials is that access to people who may not know about racing can watch it for free. They can go to the Riverwalk, go to Hart Plaza, enjoy some of those fan events. That access to the race is what they're really hyped about. Now, it will be on Belle Isle this coming summer, but on June 2nd through the 4th, 2023, they're going to be going about 185 miles an hour down this street right here. We're live tonight. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. So cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Jamie.